Hi guys, it's another Sunday and welcome back to BSTW. In this video, I'm going to talk about the midweek car results, judging and the dream car predictions guys. Enjoy the video. Guys, as I told you in the previous video, I I got this average play around and I played about 10 tickets in this place. But uh, the mistake I did in this picture was I didn't see the high resolution picture. So once I played the these tickets I, I realized that this guy's eye lining is a little bit to the right if you know what I mean uh, it's my error guys it's my fault I'm really sorry for that because I didn't have a chance to look at the high resolution picture uh, unfortunately but I made a small clip before the competition ends because I wanted you guys to know that I made a mistake on this picture uh, it was too late because I didn't want to spend more tickets on this picture. Let's have a look at that clip as well guys. What the hell is this? It's definitely high enough. I went to the right like this. It doesn't make any sense in this picture. My goodness. I already played my tickets in the average which I gave but looking at the highest picture this is going to be a mess. So guys there you go you know like after I checked out all my tickets I had the high resolution picture to line up the coordinates but I knew it was off. I just took a chance with one single ticket going more to the right guys and uh, <laughs> that's the closest uh, in this picture. My closest is just around the corner of zone 1. Most of the others are in zone 2 and 3. I lined up the midweek uh, results guys and winning coordinate is spot on guys it's a good job like you know the judges are doing a fantastic job for last two three competitions long may it remains if they are gonna do this kind of a job guys it's everybody is gonna have a chance but i don't know when they will start doing their own shit you know <laughs> Alright guys, let's just talk a little about the judging this week. Uh, I'm happy with everyone's uh, area of coordinates, but except for one guy at the, in the purple or pink or purple one. You know, um, it's no point talking about him. He's the one who always go either low onto the ground or high in the sky. This guy is a useless fellow, you know, like he is the one who is always dragging the winning average away from the area. But it is what it is guys, I'm not complaining about the average, average is spot on because I didn't see the high resolution picture when I saw the high resolution picture and my coordinates around here I knew that there was a problem and I made a mistake there but it was too late and it is what it is guys but this guy, I don't know guys, I, I, I don't know what to say about him but all the other four guys, five or four or five guys are like, they are okay, even the worst person he is in line with the blue guy and uh, the white guy. The thing is guys, if the if the judges are going to line up in this way, I think the chances of winning this game is like much more. The issue is we don't know which week they are going to mess it up. We just need to keep our fingers crossed and play in the area where we feel more comfortable in. So without further ado guys, let's jump into the dream car competition. Alright guys, this week's dream car picture, I played my free ticket in this area. There's nothing much to analyze in this picture, it's simple as that, you know, like you just have to line up all these two guys' eyes and just play your chords where you feel the ball is, but I did some pretty good linings in this picture because so many people will be playing and uh, there will be a lot of tickets in one particular area. So chances of winning in this picture is like, I don't know the odds, uh, but 
there is a good chance for everyone to land in zone 1 and get their money back this is a good picture to play in i am not going to play more tickets in this picture because i will play about 3 on my dream car actually because if i win this i will win big otherwise i'll just continue on the midweek uh, competitions so guys these are the linings i came up with this guy is looking steep but you know like uh, when you line up his eyes uh, from the pupil for me it's not this high uh, judges might probably go like one or two guys in this area but most of them will stick in this area if I am not mistaken but as I told you the guy the purple guy he might go lower as this but I'm sure Matt will be in the judging panel so the average will be a reasonable and decent one if I am to give you a box guys it will be in a rectangular shape this is where I played my three tickets in this area. The codes for this box is, guys, it's one uh, from from X. Uh, I think one four seven three to one five one five. That's the maximum. And if you go about Y, it's four ninety three five double nine. So there you go guys, this is the box I would be playing my 3 tickets, actually I pl already played my 3 tickets in this area. Uh, I wish you all the best guys and I'm working on the midweek car picture, I like the midweek car picture because it's a bit difficult to judge. When the picture is difficult to judge, the chances of winning in it is higher than the easier picture so I'm concentrating more on the midweek and I will let you know guys on wednesday so i'll see you on wednesday till then take care bye bye